am afraid to go out in the sun now because of the holes in the ozone. I am afraid to breathe the air because I don't know what chemicals are in it, says Seven Kalis Suzuki, Canadian environmental activist and writer. Respected principal, dear teachers and my dear friends, it's my pleasure to stand before you on this momentous occasion of World Ozone Day. International Day for the Prevention of the Ozone Layer or World Ozone Day is celebrated on 16th September. In 1994, the United Nations General Assembly proclaimed 16th September as the International Day for the Prevention of the Ozone Layer. The day commemorates the date of the signing in 1987 of the Montreal Protocol on substances that deplete the ozone layer. The focus of World Ozone Day 2024 centers around the theme Ozone for Life, underscoring the beneficial outcomes of the Montreal Protocol in fostering the recovery of the ozone layer and mitigating climate change. First of all, what is ozone layer? The ozone layer is a fragile shield of gas that protects the earth from the harmful portion of the rays of the sun, the ultraviolet rays. 90% of ozone is found in the stratosphere, which is the second layer of earth's atmosphere. The stratospheric region with the highest ozone concentration is commonly known as the ozone layer. Ozone holes are popular names for areas of damage to the ozone layer. The ozone layer is getting thinner and thinner day by day because of the chemicals called chlorofluorocarbons. CFCs are anthropogenic compounds that have been released into the atmosphere since the 1930s in various applications such as air condition, refrigeration and plastic products. Ozone molecules which are simply made of three joined oxygen atoms are always being destroyed and reformed naturally. But CFCs in the air make it very difficult for ozone to reform once it's broken apart. Even though the ozone layer makes up minute percent of Earth's atmosphere, it is very important. Like a sponge, the ozone layer absorbs bits of radiation hitting Earth from the sun. We need some of the sun's radiation to live, but too much of it can damage living things. The ozone layer acts as a shield for life on Earth. Ozone traps ultraviolet radiation which can penetrate organisms' protective layers like skin. This may damage DNA molecules in plants and animals. UV radiation is the cause of skin conditions like sunburns, skin cancers, eye problem and premature aging. Montreal Protocol stands as a testament to global collaboration. When countries join forces for a common cause, remarkable progress can be achieved. The healing of ozone layer is a testament to the fact that science, policy and advocacy can come together to secure our future. The ozone layer is considered as Earth's sunscreen as it absorbs about 98% of this devastating UV light. We have to curb human activities in the name of progress and development as they cause a treacherous path of ozone layer depletion. Manufacturing companies and other industries that emit CFCs need to be regulated. As we have gathered here today, let us pledge to do our part. Let us choose products and technologies that do not harm the ozone layer. 
Let us safeguard the well-being of generations to come. In conclusion, let World Ozone Day serve as a reminder that our actions matter. A world with a healed ozone layer is a world where humanity thrives. Thank you. Have a nice day.